Hi, my name is Jimmy, and this is Meg. In this video, we'll be showing you the physics behind swing bowling and cricket. After use, a cricket ball gets worn in, and the sides become rough. So what most teams do is that they'll shine one side of the cricket ball after every delivery and keep it smooth. This, they do this to allow the swing ball to be possible. What happens is, when the ball is moving in this direction, air will hit it from this direction and it will go through the smooth side and it will leave it really fast. But as it approaches the seam, it gets tripped up and it takes a lot longer to leave the side. And air is on the rough side for a lot longer, causing it to curve in that direction. So that was the conventional swing and Meg is going to tell you about the reverse swing. When the ball is throwing approximately 100 miles per hour, so that that time the initial swing doesn't work. So what the cricketers do? At that time the cricketers use the reverse swing. Let me show you how it happens. In the reverse swing, the guys, the ball is moving in this direction, and the air hits over here. So that time, when it uh, hits over here, so it splits in uh, two ways. So one way it goes like this side, and one flow is go this side. So okay, this this flow, it so rubs the surface. It's so rough. So it's it's get the turbulence, but not uh, that much at the this side because this side is a less turbulent. So it remains on the ball for a longer time to causing it to go in that direction so this is our video and we hope you enjoy it guys